a Warren County family says that they plan to hold a private funeral for their child who committed suicide earlier this week. The 17 year old's death attracted national attention and created a movement for tolerance of transgender people. Nine on your side's Jason Law spoke to the Alcorn family today about how they're coping. Jason? You know, we always try to get all sides of a story. The transgender community has been very vocal this week, but we have not heard much from Leela's family. In her suicide note, Leela blamed her parents for her death and their unwillingness, uh, unwillingness to accept her true identity. Tonight, her father says they are mourning their son, Josh. We made several attempts this week to speak with Leela's parents. After our latest try Thursday, Leela's father, Doug, sent me this email with the subject line, Joshua Alcorn and your visit this morning. The email read, we love our son Joshua very much and are devastated by his death. We have no desire to enter into a political storm or debate with people who did not know him. We wish to grieve in private. We harbor no ill will towards anyone. I simply do not wish our words to be used against us. Wednesday, Leela's mother, Carla, told CNN, we don't support that religiously, referring to Leela's transgender identity. But we told him that we loved him unconditionally. We loved him no matter what. I loved my son. People need to know I loved him. He was a good kid, a good boy. The Alcorn family was featured in a 2011 article in the Christian Chronicle, profiling their church, the Northeast Church of Christ. The headline was, Ohio Church's message, families matter to God. However, the family's photo in the web article was taken offline after Leela's suicide was confirmed this week. Now, there are several vigils planned for Leela in the coming days, including a gathering outside her former high school, King's High School, Saturday at 530.